Anything else? I was on the news with another um, thing we made. The picture of me there and my dad there. I click on it. Oh, and yeah. Oh. So, yeah, that's me right by there. Or information about it. <laughs> this bit was in the newspaper uh, on the new. I was on the news, but they did that in a like a news article on as well on here. Oh, let me go back on it. Know what's happened there? See it in detail. Okay. Yeah. A homemade metal detector. That one is remote control. It goes back and forth, a, a, a swinger, and um, it finds the coin so you have it and you use your back in aching and stuff like that. And then you dig up the, you put a peg in, or you can use like, we, we use pegs like, um, no, tent pegs, and we put like a, a red sticker so it stands out, peg it in, and then it can go off. It's a real control, so you can go off, control it, and then when it makes a beating noise, you do another peg and you keep on doing that. It was really loads of fun with me and my dad to do. Um, yeah. So yeah. It's loads right here. Loads of information. Oh, I thought it was pretty cool. And there's our finds. Um, it's that... That one went on for years, um, you know, um, a lot of time and effort into that, um, thinking about making it, planning it, and then it took just over a year to actually make it, um, you know, to get all like recycled materials, lights on it and all sorts, you know, from different places, um, yeah. Finding the wheels for it was a nightmare, what ones should have to be really strong ones. Um, so it can go up and down. It, it can go up on slight hills and stuff, as well as, um, as you know, but it's more for a field. You can't, like, go in the woods with it. You can't, like, um, go on big, steep hills and stuff. And obviously you need a car to take it around and stuff like that. But, other, you know, other than that, it's pretty cool and fun to do. Um, yeah, it's a fun machine to work with. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys.